All right, guys, what is wholesaling? And that's really what we want to talk about in this video. This is the beginning. And for those that are really new or green or fresh and haven't ever done this before and don't know anything about real estate, I just want to break this down real quick. So what is wholesaling? Well, wholesaling is a very simple concept. What we do when we wholesale a property is we find somebody that is looking to sell their property at a discount. Now, in order for us to be able to get a discount on their property, we need to come in and we need to offer them some convenience, right? And that convenience typically is buying it with cash, closing fast, and buying the property as is. But here's the cool part. We don't need it to be our cash. It just needs to be a cash transaction. And really another way to word that is, or another way to think of this is a transaction that doesn't require a bunch of contingencies and a bunch of financing and or a bunch of financing contingencies that are essentially going to slow the process down, right? When we're wholesaling deals, we're typically offering to buy the property from a motivated seller in two or three or four weeks time which if you compare that to, to, to the traditional real estate game with an agent or a broker listing it on the MLS, you know, it's often going to take two or three or four months. So when we buy a property from an individual in two or three or four weeks, we are coming in and we are offering them speed. Okay. We are offering them very, very little amounts of contingencies, which is going to make it easy for them. Right. Additionally, we want to offer to buy properties as is. All right. And in exchange for all of these conveniences that we are going to be offering to a seller, we are going to want to get the property at a discount. In fact, I demand buying properties at a discount. If I can't buy a property at a discount, I don't even really want to buy it. The last seven to 800 properties I bought were at a 20 to 30% discount under the market value. And we're going to get into this a little bit later on making offers and how you're going to be able to calculate these offers and what's a good offer to make and so on and so forth. But for this particular module here, what it is, it is a very, very basic concept that allows us to go out and find a motivated seller. And again, exchange convenience to these individuals in exchange for discounts. Now, once we get a discount on our property, we're essentially going to be able to buy that property at a great price. And what we do when we wholesale is we use a contract to go get the property under contract and gain control. That is so important. We're going to use contracts and paperwork to gain control of properties. And then what we're going to do is we're going to market those properties to our pool of investors, our partners, our cash buyers that are local in our market. And, you know, at this point, I am a cash buyer because I like buying fix and flips. I like buying rentals but I also wholesale. So I'm going to be able to give you a, a unique perspective from both sides of this. In fact, I buy about a third of the properties uh, every year. My partner, Mike, and I, about a third of our properties, we buy from other wholesalers. And these are individuals that go out and they work really hard to find great deals and they turn around and they sell them to us at good prices. So look at it like this. We're going to go out and we're going to find properties that we can get great deals on. 20, 30, maybe even 40% discounts on. And in exchange for us getting these good deals, we're going to offer a bunch of convenience to the seller. That's really all we do as investors and as wholesalers is we create liquidity and we create convenience. That's our, that's our product. That's what we offer. We offer convenience. But in exchange for all that convenience, we're going to get a discount on that property. So if we can go get a great price on a property, 20, 30, 40% under market value, and then we're going to take that property and we're going to sell it to a cash buyer at a good price. So we're going to make the spread between the great price that we get and the good price that we can sell it. And that, that spread can easily be 10, 15, 20, in some cases, 40, 50, $60,000. I've done three wholesales over a hundred thousand dollars in the last seven years. I've done one wholesale over a quarter million dollars in just the last two years. And our average deal typically is going to be between twelve dollars and $15,000 when we are wholesaling property. So it's a very lucrative business. But we have to get really, really good at finding deals. And in fact, that's the main thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding deals. Now, can I go to the MLS and find a property at a big discount and get it under contract and then wholesale it? Yes, you can, but it's going to be very, very difficult. In fact, I buy about 100 houses a year, and I maybe get two or three a year that way. Maybe, right? And typically, the ones that I do get that way, 
the agents that I'm friends with, that I've networked with, have brought me that deal. I'm not typically wasting time making offers on on-market properties because it's very difficult to get a deal. So how do we find properties or property owners that are going to be willing to sell us a property at a discount? And that is the magic question. That is, the, that is where we come in, right? So what we do is we market to individuals that are facing distressed situations or maybe they own a distressed property or in some cases, maybe they own a distressed property and they're also facing a distressed situation. We're going to market to these people directly to them and we are going to offer to buy their house and offer them convenience in exchange for the discount. And if they want our convenience or hopefully need our convenience, then they have no problem selling a property at, uh, to us at a discount, 20, 30, maybe even 40 or 50% discounts, okay? So what does a distressed seller look like? Well, let's be honest. You know, a lot of the situations that we see um, aren't the best. They're not pretty. And they're not situations that I'd essentially wish on anybody, but these are truths. They are situations that happen regardless if we want them to or not. So what does that look like? Well, it can look like death. It can look like divorce. It can look like disease. It can look like job relocations. Um, it can look like um, somebody not paying their taxes. It can look like somebody, you know, falling behind on their mortgage. And these are situations, again, that aren't necessarily the situations that are going to be the most pretty, but they put people into a place where they need to sell. They become motivated sellers. And again, if we can come in and we can make friends with them and offer to help them and offer convenience, help them unload a property that they need to unload or just don't want anymore, and we offer all this convenience, then in exchange for that, we're going to get that discount that I keep talking about. So let's say that I come across a seller that you know just inherited a house and they don't want the home. And here's another thing. Maybe they live six or 800 miles away. Okay. Well, I can come in and I can offer to buy that from them. They don't even need to come into town. I can send them pictures and I can go get that property under contract at, let's say, a 30% discount. All right. Let's use simple math. Let's say the property all in is going to be about $100,000 worth of value at the property. But I offer to buy it from them for $70,000, right? And I, I send them a contract to purchase it for, you know, two or three weeks down the road with a bunch of inspections. So I have outs. Again, this is the great thing about this business is we can do this with very little risk, okay? So we're going to get some inspections, but we're going to tell them that we can close quick and we're going to get a big discount. So we're going to offer to buy it at 70. Well, if this house doesn't need a whole lot of work, I can take this to my, my pool of investors, which we're going to teach you how to find it in later modules. And I can market to these investors and I can say, hey, I got a good deal. I have a contract to purchase this house and I'm willing to sell this contract at 80,000. The house is worth 100,000. But keep in mind that I got a great deal. I, I was able to get the seller to sell it to me at 70,000. So I'm going to buy it for 70. I'm going to find an investor that's willing to pay it, pay 80 for it, which is a $10,000 spread. And all in it, at the end of the day, they're going to have an asset that's worth 100,000. So I'm buying great and I'm selling good. But here's the coolest part about wholesaling. I don't need money to actually buy the house in most cases. In fact, I can do it with little to no money at all. And here's how. I'm going to find that great deal from that seller. I'm going to offer to buy it, offer the convenience, and I'm going to get a discount, like I said, 70000 in this case. And I'm going to get a contract between me and them, and I'm going to have them sign it. And now I have a contract to purchase said property at 70000 which gives me equitable interest in the property. So now I have something to actually sell, even though I haven't bought it yet. So I'm going to take this contract and I'm going to find my pool of investors. And these investors are just other landlords and other rehabbers and just other individuals that are in my market that are actively buying, right? We're going to build a list of these individuals. And then we're going to take that contract to purchase and we're going to sell it to them. And they're going to go and they're going to close on that property. And they're going to pay $80,000. And my seller, the person that I originally found and talked to, is going to get seventy, dollars And I'm going to walk away with $10,000 and I'm not even going to have to have bought the house in most cases, right? I'm going to make the spread. And that essentially is what wholesaling is. It's very, very simple. It's very, very straightforward. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can actually exit the transaction and get paid. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the closing the deal module. But for the most part, in this 
uh, first lesson on what is wholesaling, I just really want to break it down, right? We are using contracts to gain control of properties. That's all we're doing. We don't typically need to buy these properties in order to find a buyer to sell our contract to. So at the end of the day, we're using contracts to gain control and we're selling contracts. That's what this business is all about. Now, how do you find a seller that's motivated? Somebody that's going to give you a great price. Well, again, that's where the marketing comes in. So there's two things I want to touch on before we wrap up this video. Number one, wholesaling is a marketing business before it's any other business. So any individual that is wanting to get into wholesaling, maybe you're watching this video right now, right? You have to understand that you're going to need to spend some time and or some money marketing to find these motivated sellers. That's the game, right? It's a marketing business before it's any other business. So if you have a bunch of time, then you can spend your time marketing, right? And if you don't have time, then you're going to need to spend money to get people to call your phone. And you can send out postcards and build websites and, you know, get on the radio or do, do a bunch of different things to get your phone to ring. But at the end of the day, marketing is really nothing more than a fancy word for getting people on the phone. So you're either going to need to spend time or you're going to need to spend money to market, to find these motivated sellers. And then when you find these sellers, you're going to make a friend, you're going to offer a bunch of convenience, and you're going to get a discount on that property. And then you're going to get a contract signed to purchase that property. And that contract's going to have outs. Again, we're going to talk about that in later sections here. So you're going to have very little risk. But then you're going to go back to work again, marketing that contract that you just got from that seller to all of your cash buyers. So you have to understand, rule number one or lesson number one, the wholesaling real estate is a marketing business. It is a marketing business before it is any other business. And you have to understand that you need to get good at marketing. And it's going to either cost you time or it's going to cost you money to do your marketing. Lesson number two, we make our money when we buy. We get paid when we sell. So if we're not buying in right, we're never going to be able to make any money. We're never going to be able to sell these contracts to other investors. Therefore, we're never going to get paid. So how do we get paid? We have to be able to sell a property or a contract to buy a property to another investor at a good price. And we have to make a spread, meaning we need to get it at a great price. So the better price that we can get properties from motivated sellers under contract, get those properties under contract, the more money we can make. So again, lesson number two, we make our money when we buy, we get paid when we sell. So we need to focus on buying right or else we're not going to be able to sell and we might not get paid. So how do we get paid? We got to get home run deals. In fact, I said earlier, I like buying properties at 20, 30% discounts at a minimum. All right. Ideally, I can buy a property at a 40 or a 50% discount. It's basically a fire sale that I can get that property under contract, but I'm going to do so by offering so much convenience to the seller that they are happy to leave money on the table. They know that they're giving me a property at a discount, often a big discount, but in exchange for that, I am making their life incredibly easy. We can close the deal in two or three weeks. You know, either myself or one of my partners is going to be paying cash for this property. Oh, and by the way, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, you don't need to clean it, fix it, paint it. You don't need to do anything. In fact, we love buying properties from hoarders that have three and four and five dumpsters worth of, worth of stuff in those properties. The convenience that we offer is that you don't need to clean it out. You can walk away, but I'm going to get that property at a 40% discount, right? This is how this business works. So all we do at the end of the day is exchange convenience for discounts. The bigger the discount, the more money we make. We take the contract to purchase the property, which is a great price, to an end buyer, another investor, landlord, rehabber, so on and so forth, and we sell it to them at a good price. So we're leaving some meat on the bone. No investor is going to want to buy a deal from us if it doesn't have meat on the bone. We have to give them meat on the bone. Otherwise, they're not going to want to have any interest in it. So we got to buy it great and we have to sell it good. But here's the cool part before we wrap up. You don't need a lot of money to do this. Now, you may need some money for marketing if you don't have time. If you have time, you may not need much money for marketing. But you're going to need to do, to do some sort of marketing. And marketing, unfortunately, does cost time and money. But... You can go out and get a house under contract that's worth 200, 300, 500. I just did one recently for almost $700,000 and I didn't need to buy the property in order to sell it. All I needed to do was get that property under contract at a great price 
and then find another investor that wanted it at a good price and I'm able to make the spread. And sometimes the deal may only be two or five or, or $8,000, but sometimes it can be 20, 40, $50,000 spreads. And that's the wholesale fee. That's what we get whenever we sell the deal and we get paid in the end. So don't overcomplicate wholesaling, guys. This is a marketing business. You have to be comfortable at marketing. And you have to understand that if you're not getting your phone to ring from your paid marketing, then you're going to need to spend time ringing other people's phones. All right? That's really what this business is. Okay. So that is what is wholesaling. And that was a really great explanation of it, right? I love that explanation because a lot of people often forget that, you know, we are offering convenience in exchange for these discounts. We have a lot of value. We create liquidity to the real estate marketplace. But we also create a lot of value because we're creating triple wins. We're winning because we're going to make a fee. We're going to make a spread. The seller wins because they're getting rid of a headache and a problem. And our buyer, the end buyer, is getting a good deal on a piece of property that still has some meat on the bone, some equity or the ability for them to turn around and sell that property and make money. All right. So the next section is going to be all about finding these motivated sellers. And we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about what is going to be required and how we can find them, where they're going to be located, and what we need to do to find these individuals so we can then go out and get these great deals by offering convenience to these folks.